Sometimes when you call your wife, she's making you too accountable. I see you so many questions. Have you eaten? What food did you eat? Oh, yes. Did you buy Uber Eats? How was work? Did your boss annoy you today? Have you drank water? How many liters did you drink? Did you eat? Man, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I don't want problems. You know, I want peace. and welcome back to another video mm. my name is Riri and this is my husband Louis <laughs> Louis <laughs> okay so we have not posted in a minute and that's because we've been away but we are back and we are going to be posting more content for you guys so subscribe to the channel and um, check out our old videos as well. If you haven't seen the video on how we met, make sure to check out that video so you get to learn a bit more about us. All right, so let's get into today's video. Have you ever been on a date with anyone and within the first five minutes, you're thinking, wow, what an attitude. Mm. Like, you just, you can't wait for the date to be over because this person's attitude just doesn't match with yours or what you believe in. Yeah, like and the person is not giving you the vibe you want. Yeah. You know, like the first day meeting the person, it feels like having like a lifetime of terrible experience. You know? Yeah. You like just wish you will not see the person, person again. again. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Exactly. So it just goes to show that attitude is so important in any type of relationship like in marriages dating stage work relationships family relationship it is so important um mm. in terms of like even just the progress of the relationship so today we want to talk about attitudes and why it's so important yeah attitude is um very important like place a crucial role in every relationship, mm -hmm. you know, and um, attitude from my understanding is a settled way of thinking, mm -hmm. you know, and or uh, the way you feel about something, you know, because sometimes someone may not even speak, someone may not be physical with his, his or her own actions, but the mindset alone mm -hmm. is also a way of portraying an attitude you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i've come to realize that in our relationship and in our marriage um the progress of our marriage depend depended on the attitude we portrayed mm -hmm. you know what i mean like there are times where you blame your partner for something you think he or she is at fault only to know that um, you were rather the cause of it mm -hmm. you know and it all comes to the attitude you portray, you know? And um, I've also realized that attitude is like a reflection of your mindset, you know, because um, uh, one Irish um, philosopher called John Mitchell said, um, the attitude you portray towards life will determine life's attitude towards you. So it tells you that the attitude you portray towards your partner okay would determine your partner's response towards you so someone may be good but um if you portray a negative attitude towards the person the chances that the person will, will react in a negative way is high so attitude is very crucial mm -hmm. yeah 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 no i completely agree like it's so important um like as i said in in building a healthy relationship it can actually make or break a relationship yeah, you know? very crucial. yeah. that's right and as christians like we like to you know go to the bible for you know some of these challenges that we yeah, face so well. like looking at the book romans in the bible um romans chapter 15 verse 5 it says may the god who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind towards each other that Christ Jesus had. So as godly couples as we are, um, even in the Bible, it encourages us to be conscious of the attitude that we have um, or the attitudes that we portray mm. towards each other. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, you know, like, just from what you said, well, I mean, I totally agree with you, and you know, like, I, I, I like the verse, the, the Bible scripture you just mentioned, you know, in Romans chapter 15, verse 5. It makes you to understand that as godly couples, like, the Bible advises us to be conscious of the attitude we portray in a relationship. You, you, you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, the writer of the book of Romans admonishes us to, to have a kind of attitude of mind. And he likens that attitude of mind to the mind of Christ Jesus. Mm. You know, so it tells you that attitude is very, very, very important in every relationship. You know, the the progress of your relationship depends on the kind of attitude you portray towards each other. And it could be a bad attitude, it could be a good attitude, but I feel if you really want your relationship to be long lasting then attitude is something you should pay attention to and be intentional about. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. As humans as we are, we're not perfect. And we're not going to have good attitude all the time, especially to our spouse. Because... Confession. (laughs) No, because like... Confession time. No, you continue. Okay. Anyway, so, mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, your spouse will always get on your nerves. But when you're living with someone twenty four seven, they are bound to um, get you upset. They're bound to make you angry. And sometimes you like you can't always control your attitude because we're humans, and that's the fact of it. So we want to share some examples that we've personally experienced in our marriage. So personally, there's a lot of things that Louis does that triggers me. Not gonna lie, but it takes the grace of God <laughs> and maturity to be able to remain sane through those um, situations. Ooh, so I'm gonna part? give no, no. I'm part? gonna give an example. Okay. So Louis and I have a routine where he calls me when he um, closes from work. And we talk throughout his journey um, until he gets home, which is usually about an hour. Um, and so there was this instant where, because I know the time he closes work. So when I see, I'm w- watching the clock. So as soon as it hit 4.30, I'm expecting his call. You know, or if he doesn't call me, I'll call him. So, call. yeah, so 4.30, looking at my phone, Where's the call? The call isn't coming through. So I call him. No answer. And I'm like, okay, maybe he's not walking to his car. Let me give him like 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, he hasn't called me. I call him. No answer. Hmm. Now I start to, you know, worry a little bit, you know, like, is he okay? What's happening? So I wait like an extra 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, for sure he's on the road now. So, like, where's the call? Like, why haven't received the call yet? So I called him a few times and he didn't pick up. So I assume he's on the phone with somebody else. Another woman, but like, come on. Then another woman, but like, a friend, a colleague, or someone like that. And I feel like, it's not wild. I feel like this is our routine. This is our time. Why, why aren't you? why haven't you caught so already my attitude is growing is developing from okay stay cool understand him to no but this is our routine why hasn't he caught so the attitude just starts building 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 so by the time he gets him i already have an attitude so when he walks through the door like i already have an attitude i'm not smiling and he innocent too no louis yeah louis just be so innocent and he thinks there's nothing wrong so he walks in the door he walks past me put his bag down takes off his jumper then he wants to say hello and the fact that he walked through the door and didn't even say hi escalated the attitude as well go to the room i'm looking at him like this man just walked past me after he didn't call me during his ride home so i already have an attitude and this man clueless 
babe, how was your day? And I'm like, why didn't you call me? Like, why didn't you call me? And then I start rambling. Why didn't you call me? Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? So that's what like starts the attitude because you didn't call me when you're meant to call me. You see, I think um, you are one of the reasons why they wrote that particular Bible verse. It says that what? That you may have the same attitude of mind Christ had. I mean, you call me all the time. We speak whenever I close from work. We talk all the time when I'm coming back home. And all. But there are times where, look, I feel I want to use that time to call friends. So once I get home, we can have all the time to ourselves. You know, there are times where I want to use the time to call my parents at home, my siblings, you know, my friends back home. Because I don't want a situation where when I come home, I would have to call them while you are home. You, you get what I mean? So I think that's the best time to do other calls. There are times where work can be so stressful that I just want to drive in silence. I, I just want to listen to a podcast. I don't feel like talking. I just want to just ha hear people talk to me. That's why I want to listen to podcasts. And all Wait, if you want to hear people talk to you, I can talk to you. I'm babe, part of the people that babe, can talk to you. There's no way you call me and be like, hello, babe. Um, how is work? You definitely want me to talk. There is no way you call me and start rattling. Hello, babe. So the Bible says, and no, no, you definitely ask me a question. And I don't want that. Sometimes when you call your wife, she's making you too accountable. I see you so many questions. Have you eaten? What food did you eat? Oh, yes. Did you buy Uber Eats? How was work? Did your boss annoy you today? Have you drank water? How many liters did you drink? Did you eat? It's Man, true. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I don't want problems. You know, I want peace. You know, sometimes your, your lady doesn't know you need that quiet time. You want to be it's okay, alone. It's okay. You know? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. You okay, you point. too. I have, we get the I have point. one we bullet get the against point. you. I have one bullet against you. Yeah. Since you decide to sh shoot me in the foot, mm -hmm. I'm also going to shoot you in the neck. Mm -hmm. I like things organized, okay? My wife does the cleaning, she does the scrubbing and all that. I really appreciate it and all that. But one thing... Do you? Yeah, I do appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, go on, go on. All right, so she does the cleaning and everything, but the only thing I have issues with is she doesn't put things the way she saw it. Like, she can clean this table, and at the, at the end of her cleanup, the remote will migrate from here, and it will be in the bedroom. The shoe will migrate from here, and it will be in the shower. You know? So, is the it only- my, Is it my fault that they grow legs and they move? It's, <laughs> it is your fault that you gave it legs to move. You know, because you know, so that it really irritates me. So instead of me appreciating her, I would jump to conclusion. You know, I come home, I'm looking for my charger, I can't find my charger, and instead of me appreciating her cleaning the room, I'm like, oh my god, this girl again. Where's my charger? You know, then I jump on her, attack her. I say, where's my charger? My charger should be here. You shouldn't relocate my charger and all that, you know. So, over time, I got to realize that she started becoming so angry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she yeah. doesn't even clean again. Yeah, because the thing is, from my perspective, I know you like a clean space. So, I make sure that I keep the place clean. And then you come and you don't really see the, the cleaning that I've done, but you you notice the remote not being where you yeah. expect it to be so then when he gets upset i get upset it's like do you not see what i've done yeah. so it's like your attitude also triggers my attitude that's right you know, you know what i mean yeah. yeah and that's what we said earlier that your attitude towards your partner okay will reflect his or her response towards you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I got to realize that over time she wasn't cleaning again. Yeah, I'm like, if you're not gonna appreciate it, let us, yeah. 
you know. But <laughs> we've come to talk about it. Everything is okay, and now, now we are fine. You know, we are fine. But well, I've not told her this. But today I'm going to tell her, babe, if you are cleaning, take a photo of the room. Take 3D photo of the room. Before, Before. And after. So you know where everything is. Oh wow. So whenever you clean the room, you can look at the photo. Okay, the remote is here. Okay, the shoe is here. Okay. <laughs> you know? Wow. But you know that's just for a joke. But at the end of the wow. day, we've got to talk things out. Things that are valuable to me, I lock it, I hide it away. So that whatever she wants to dislocate it's none of my business <laughs> you know so yeah so these are some of the experiences we've decided to open up to the public just for the purpose of what um telling you what attitude can do in a relationship mm -hmm. you know there are times where you have problems in your relationship i think you need to take some time to sit back and analyze what triggered this problem mm -hmm. and what made this problem come this far in the relationship mm -hmm. you know so this goes to tell us that there are ways to tackle damages attitude has already caused mm -hmm. you know now one of the ways is effective communication yes. if you have effective communication implemented in your relationship it will go a long way to help tackle issues that wrong attitude yeah. will pose because as i said attitude is a reflection of your mindset mm -hmm. so when you get the chance to talk to each other about a problem you open up the mindset you have mm -hmm. behind the attitude you portray yeah, then based true. on the mindset you reveal the both parties can talk things out and resolve the issue mm -hmm. that's right babe so another point that i think it's important to mention is that there needs to be a level of maturity in the relationship not everything needs to be magnified some things that are, in, are insignificant and you should be able to get over it with maturity so when you're communicating your feelings or what you're feeling there should be some level of maturity for both parties to be able to understand and just move forward from yeah. what the issue is so that's very important and and at the end of the day i feel like it all comes down to like love like i feel like yeah. if you love each other you understand what love means yeah. then you're able to use that love to like overcome things as well and also you know, also um, making sure that you communicate and be mature in the relationship. So, yeah, this brings us to the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and if this video was helpful in any way, make sure to let us know in the comment section. Talk, talk. If you don't talk, <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> leave your, leave your Does comment. Does that rhyme? If you I don't know. talk, we can't hear you. Well, the only way we can hear you is to yeah leave your comments, comments below leave your comments below and don't forget to like the video if yeah if you if you like please the video please subscribe like. <laughs> yeah subscribe to the channel and check our other videos as well and join the family and thank you for watching we will see you in our new no we will see you in our next video <laughs> We are out. We're out.